All right, this is Matt Landis, and we'd like to go over in configuring an extension on the SNOM1 phone system. We're going to use the X-Lite 4 as the, the phone, and we'll get started right away. All right, the first step in registering extensions to your SNOM phone system is on the server, on the SNOM1 phone server. You want to make sure uh, that the Windows firewall is off, so if it's Windows 7 Pro, you know where to go to do that. Turn that off. Uh, it's very easy for extensions to get stopped by that firewall. Uh, if you're technically savvy, you can figure out how to make it work with it on, but for simplicity's sake, I would suggest turning it off. And then the next thing we want to do is go into, log into the, uh, into the administrator panel. Uh, on your SNOM phone, you can do that from the server or from another PC. If you're on the server, you're just gonna you can just type in HTTP colon forward slash localhost. From another PC, you'll need to type in the uh, the password. I mean, sorry, the IP address of your SNOM one server. All right, then you'll see the login, and you'll want to type in admin. No password, which is the default. You certainly want to change that in a live system, but for a demo, that should be okay. All right, we're logged in, and on the server, the one thing you're going to want to do is is make sure that no IP addresses on your local subnet get 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 um, blocked by the SIP security. So you want to click on Home, and that is to go to the System Administration of SNOM One. Click on Settings, click on Access, and now what you want to do here is add. Uh, either the subnet or the IP addresses of the computers that need to access the SNOM1 phone system and allow them so that they don't get blocked. They can uh, get blocked if you type a password in wrong or something. And, and really this is a good security feature uh, that blocks external phones from being able to access your system. So you don't want, this is it's a great feature, just make sure that your local subnet is, is allowed. All right, and now we can go to a uh, move over to another computer. So let's say we're going to a laptop that's plugged into this network. Install XLite 4, and quite simple to register to the phone system. Just click on Soft Phone, Account Settings, and it's pretty straightforward. You'll want to type the account name, whatever you want the name to be key thing being the user ID which is the extension in SNOM1, the domain which is also the extension and the password. Go down here to proxy and type in the IP address. And one thing I maybe should have said, when you install the five minutes it takes to install SNOM1, it already comes with a 10 extension system set up for you ready to go using extensions 40 to 49. Why don't we show you that? Hold on a second. All right, so we log back into the administrator panel of SNOM1. From another PC, we can do that now. We want to click on Home. If we click on Den Domains, it will show you the uh, phone, if you have multiple phone systems. But we just want to click on, just click on localhost, click on account. And here you'll see the different extensions that are already set up for you. They're already set up, ready to go. So there you see them. And by default, they have uh, the the password, the SIP password is the same as the account number. Once again, wouldn't do that in a live system, but that's for uh, setting up a temporary or a test system, that's fine. All right, we're back at our X-Lite phone, and see if I can get it, but once again, just type the user ID, domain, which is the user extension number, password is extension number in this scenario, and the IP address of the phone system. We can click OK and you will notice that it has registered and the way you can test is by just dialing um, another extension or calling voicemail that's a good way to do it all right all right and we'll test here by dialing our own extension number and that will get our own voicemail you are calling your and there you hear it it is working to identify your extension and it all right, so we have registered XLED extension on SNOM 1.